Hey, welcome back to the Dueling Excel Podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Irwin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 122, Entering Credit Cards in Excel. Well, this is a really common problem. People try and keep track of their credit cards in Excel. Uh, Annabeth is uh, trying to enter credit card numbers and she's losing the last digit every single time. Here, let's try it. 4300, 2222, 3333, 4444. Bam, that last four goes away, get replaced by a zero. Uh, expiration date, so we have an ex expiration date of 2, 2017, and we lose the leading zero. Three-digit code, 123, works great, but 023, ah, lose the le leading zero. All right, the problem here is that Excel only deals with 15 digits of precision. Now, this week on the Mr. Excel podcast, on Wednesday, I had a number up uh, 451 septillion. There were so many digits that we lost, uh, you know, everything after the first 15 digits. And generally, that's close enough, but it's really frustrating with credit cards because we need that last digit. That last digit is really important. Uh, so, what we're going to do is choose these cells here, and actually, I'm going to do it uh, all of these, and go to the Home tab. Uh, change from a number format to a text format. Text format says, hey, let me enter whatever I want. Don't try and treat it as a number. Don't try and use any of your Excel mojo on it. It's just text. Let me uh, have it. 4300, 2222, 3333, and the last digit stays there. If you had some other kind of part number, you know, that had uh, 24 numbers, well, yeah, it's still going to work. All right, so it's just text. Now, you can't do any math with it, uh, but that's okay. And expiration date of 01 slash 16. It's going to stay exactly the way you enter it with the leading zero. Over here with the three digit code, I'm not going to convert that to text. I'm just going to do control one and a custom number format of three zeros, one, two, three, like that. And you see that then we enter 023. Now I need to copy that formatting down here. Custom one, two, three. I could have done pay special formats, but just as fast. All right, so let's try something else. 3700. 2222-3333-4444, it stays, and 0117 stays, and uh, 047 stays. There we go. A little bit of formatting uh, will allow you to do those credit card numbers uh, with all their 16-digit glory. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, uh, text number formatting, custom number formatting, 000, that really is the way to go. However, there's an amazing array formula that can convert. Oh, wait a second. No, that's a joke. There's no array formula for this problem. This is, as Mr. Excel says, 15 digits. That's all Excel is going to see, so we have to use text. All right, so he used number formatting. You know, I suppose. I could come here, I'm going to hit the delete key to delete content, and then I'm going to come up here and apply general. It, if you use a lead apostrophe, then it doesn't matter what the number format is, it is considered text. So lead apostrophe, and then 01 slash 15. Lead apostrophe, and then 005. All right, uh, no array formula here, just lead apostrophe. Throw it back to Mr. Excel. Mike, that's beautiful. This is a record. This is the first dueling podcast in months where you haven't kicked out an array formula and I haven't kicked out some VBA. Just simple number formatting, lead apostrophe. I love that. That I'm going to bore you since we have so much time here. Going back to the days of Lotus 1, 2, 3, there were actually three characters. A lead apostrophe would say to left justify, a lead double quote would say to right justify, and a lead caret, shift six, the little hat there, um, would say to center the entry. So those were Lotus 1, 2, 3 uh, uh, formatting commands, and so the lead apostrophe uh, still works to this day in Excel. Well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.